about to leave already packing come with me i'm not hello friends and enemies welcome back to happy for now it's me as well here with a vlog intro so what's going on i am going to attempt to read 25 volumes of manga in the next 25 ish days i will not probably read one every day but what i'm gonna do is as i read them i'll let you know and i'll let you know what i thought of them I have a lot of volumes on my shelf unread uh, because I just like I had to collect all of Sailor Moon because like that's my childhood and things like that you know um yeah so I did that and I just really want to read a lot of these mangas I own so we're gonna do that we're gonna we're gonna read a lot of mangas and I'm gonna vlog the experience because I feel like I'm I'm like moderate on my manga scale like I've read some I read I used to read a lot when I was younger um but it's been a while, so I feel like I'm like closer to the newbie side of the scale now than like knowing what's going on. And I've just, thanks to Shay, I've collected a lot. So in celebration of the 25 days of manga, I thought, let's read 25 volumes with them. And I will be linking to all the creators of the 25 days of manga situation down below. So be sure to check them out. They're amazing. I love, I love manga YouTube. Like y'all are so cool. They're so chill. I adore them. Um, yeah. All right. I will be back soon when I read another volume. Bye. Hello. For the first book of manga, I just finished Boys Over Flowers Volume 1 because... So Shay told me it was in the, um, the Viz app. And then I was looking and I was reading it there. And then I realized... Uh, Angus is chilling. But anyways, then I realized it was actually also in my library at Brooklyn Public Library that I have a card to that I pay for. So I actually just grabbed like five volumes and I'm so excited. So I finished volume one of Boys Over Flowers. I personally am a big, big, big fan of the K-drama and I actually have been wanting to rewatch it for a while. And I think I'm gonna read all the mangas and then I'm gonna rewatch the show. It's gonna take me a little while. Um, there's a lot of volumes, more than I realized, but I'm just so excited that they're all available at my library and on the Viz app. So it's like, depending on where I'm going or what's going on, I can, I can alternate where I read them, etc. This is, that's what you're hearing. Um, she's bringing me a toy. This is what she does. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so I really liked it. I thought this was a great intro. I mean, it feels a little dated. The art is definitely a little dated, but I'm just, like, I feel so silly that I never, like, specifically went in the Lynn Libby and checked. I just relied on my library extension that I use. Uh, I'll link to that video up above here from the cards if you're curious. I talk about, like, the extensions I have on my browser help me save money on books. Well, one of them, like, is supposed to tell me if a book's in the library or in Hoopla that I have. And, um, well, it apparently doesn't work well with mangas, so I need to get better at checking. And I actually put a couple other mangas on hold that I was interested in because I found out they were on there. And I know Shay said a lot of libraries have them, but every one I checked, like my locals, didn't have anything. So I just thought I somehow had no libraries with mangas. Wrong. Completely wrong. Which is great, too, because I like to read mangas in bed sometimes before I go to sleep. But I find that really, really hard to do with a physical book because I tend to fall asleep reading. And then it's the whole situation of like dropping a book on my face or not enough lighting, etc. And I don't really want to like add a lamp to my bedroom or anything. Um, but yeah, I, um, I finished my first volume of manga for the 25 days. I'm super excited to read more of this. I'm excited to get caught up in Yona of the Dawn. And yeah, we'll just see how many mangas I can read in the next... 25-ish days. Uh, I'm current current stats is one manga out of 25 read. So we'll get there. We will get there. I mean, I also have a readathon going on right now too, so that's part of the issue. So I've just finished two volumes of Yona this morning. Um, so this is books two and three of my 25 days as you'll know i'll have graphics before each of these i just want to do a quick wrap up of volume 17 and 18 of yona before i read more um wow wow so 17 like blew me away we've got angus visiting 17 blew me away okay like i was like oh my gosh 
uh, what a great reveal about Zeno. And uh, I will keep these very vaguely spoiler free. Um, but it gave me a lot of feelings. And then I started volume 18 and I almost cried. Uh, it was beautiful. I really, really, really liked this volume. I really enjoyed it. I think that um, the, I think the way that Yona is unfolding, like it just keeps getting better. And I'm honestly just so impressed at how it just keeps getting better. Um, I never, you never know with something, especially something this long running. Like I'm not saying like everyone's like a star, but like I've not really had a disappointing volume yet as I've read through. And I've got up to volume 27, I think just came out. So I've got through that to read. Um, I have also checked them out for my library to read digitally because I can't read mangas in bed easily, but I can on my iPad. So um, I figured out that one of my libraries has them. So I'm kind of just hopping back and forth between formats a little bit here, uh, which is fine by me because I do eventually want to own all of Yona. Um, yeah, I just, wow y'all it's so good i both of these volumes are five stars for me no questions asked um and i don't i don't know if i'm gonna read anything else the next two days besides yona so we'll see but yeah currently two more five star reads uh i'm really enjoying it I'm also reading on desktop only because it's in a browser thing that I can't use on my phone or my iPad easily. Uh, Wotaku, Love is Hard for Otaku, Volume 1. I am I finished the first volume last night in this book since this is a two book bind up. Uh, and I wanted to share that I really, really liked Volume 1. I thought it was very, very cute and very fun. And I can't wait to read to the next volume today and finish that up as well, which will put me at four volumes of manga so far and we are on the 5th of December so I'm doing pretty good if I read one more today I will be caught up so we'll see that and I will talk to you later so I don't know if I told you yet but I figured out how to read manga on my iPad through the media do browser that overdrive uses so you can read certain like mangas basically if they aren't on kindle um and I checked out a bunch of Yona so I could read it on my iPad I think I told you this Okay, if I already told you this, I'm editing this out. Anyways, I'm tired. It is late. Uh, I wanted to update you though because I finished Wotaku. Love is hard for an otaku. I think I got that right. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it was very cute. I gave it four stars. I'm curious enough to continue the series. Uh, yeah, it was definitely really fun. I'm, I'm really enjoying doing this, honestly. It's really motivating me to like read more of my mangas which needs to happen and yeah I will update you on the next volume I read that one was just really cute it had a lot of like insider references that I got because like it used to be a I mean I'm still not like yeah I'm not anti or anything I just used to be a much bigger anime kid um I used to go to cons for anime <laughs> and now I've moved more to like comic con stuff <laughs> and other things as well i have too many nerdy interests that's the problem uh but yeah i really really liked it it was really really cute and uh i really am curious to try the next volume probably after this is over because i would really like to finish yona of the dawn like get caught up on that completely and read some other stuff that i'm interested in too so we'll see So I just finished Yona of the Dawn, volume 19. Y'all, this book, this series, I'm so stressed out. I need to read volume 20, like, first thing tomorrow morning. There's just no way I can wait. Um, I'm definitely hoping, like, pretty soon to be caught up. Um, but wow. Wow! Uh, volume 19 delivered some great backstory on Sinha slash like set up things around him like his previous dragon forms and we continued like watching Hawk and Yona get closer and then we met some old friends again and I just 
five out of five stars. I loved it. It had everything I loved about the series in one book. Like there was a little bit of mystery and intrigue and then there was also some adventure and then we kind of got to see Yona. Um, we continue to get to see Yona grow into being a very strong character. She's obviously nervous of herself which makes sense but it's so good. I just I love it so much. <laughs> but yeah so that's done. That's another volume down. I don't I don't know what count I'm at. I would have told you before I wrapped up this volume so you you know but I don't. Um, my goal this week is to get caught up and maybe a little bit ahead on my 25 days but we'll see how that goes. I'm currently in my comfy, but we've got nursing Angus. And then I want to show you, I'm like coordinating secretly with my next volume of manga. That's right. We are, of course, reading Yona that on. I, you know, blue is one of my favorite colors. Is that surprising right now? I'm in a blue comfy. I've got blue rugs, blue decor. I also really like pink, but I mean, that's, that's part of these. Yeah, so I'm gonna read my next volume of manga. I don't know what volume, what my count's at, so you'll know that before I will. And I'm really excited. I'm loving the dragon covers, how she's given a cover to each dragon so far. They're really, really pretty. And yeah, I'm excited to dive into volume 20 of Yona. Not volume 20 of this project, but all right. I'll talk to y'all soon. Um, so I wanna cry from volume 20. Holy crap, that ending, holy crap. I, yep, yep, I have tears in my eyes. This volume was spectacular. An absolute highlight so far of this chunk that I've been reading during 25 days of manga. And I'm gonna go dive into volume 21 right now, like right now. I just finished volume 21 and there was like cuddling not okay not okay why <laughs> am i so obsessed with this series it's it's so stinking cute and the cuddling i loved it another five star volume i just love 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 this series love these mangas i can't wait to reread them a million times over. Like, I love them so much. So much. It's another update from my desk. So I was getting my, the little cute graphics you guys see before each update. And I finished volume eight and nine of this challenge. And I'm really proud of myself. It's the 14th, I can catch up and I can do this. So volume eight was volume, so the eighth volume I read this month was Yona of the Dawn volume 22. And then volume nine was Yona of the Dawn volume 23. I'm going to avoid spoilers as much as I can. I will have chapter markers for the next volume, like on the video, if you need to skip ahead. Um, so first of all, volume 22, um, well, I really loved it. What a setup we're building up to. We are really getting like detailed information about the backstory and the upcoming story and like what's going on, where maybe we're headed. And then you read volume 23 and it's a fucking gut punch. Uh, I'm stressed out. I don't like the situation we're in. I want it to be done. <laughs> And I pretty much will probably be trying to catch up on Yona today so that way I can know what's going on. I'm also nervous that 27 is going to be a massive cliffhanger and then I have to wait till February. But I also want to be caught up. It's a very hard situation y'all. Um, but I'm really, I, I, I feel like the thing about Yona that's really really working for me is every single volume adds to the story. I've yet to finish a volume and feel like that was just filler or pointless. Like, I think every volume besides one has been a five star and I think if I reread it, it'd be a five star because I think it gave a lot of setup for where we are now in the story. I just can't believe it. It's so good. Oh my God, it's so good. Uh, yeah, I'm excitedly nervous to finish up this series maybe today. 
um, and that would put me at like being caught up, I think, for a volume a day. And then I have to decide what I wanna read next, which is probably gonna be Food Wars, but that's beyond the point. I will check back with you in a little bit when I finish my next volume of Yona. Okay, um, I just finished volume 24 of Yona. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. The other problem is it gets so dark so early. I don't like reading. This is a very like niche problem. Anyways, I don't like reading physical mangas when it's dark out and I don't love using a layup, but I just might have to because I kind of have to know what's happening, but I also have to film a video and I'm like, all I want to do is sit here and read Yona and I can't and it sucks <laughs> so bad y'all, but it's going to be okay because we are going to film that video, get that done, and then maybe read a ton more. I don't know. I'm, I've got a lot to do and I'm very <laughs> tense right now over Yona. Uh, I knew it was coming too and I was just like, whoo, 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 this is going to be a lot. And I was not wrong. I was not wrong, y'all. I knew, I knew it was about to pick up big time. So here we are. <music> So, I just finished volume 25 of Biona. I've got to go get ready for the day, but I'm going to finish 26 and 27 in a minute. That was another five-star read. I loved how it ended. I loved the, um, the just how this is all working. I'm really, really curious to finish up the story arc, and then I know 27 is about Hawk. I'm just really excited. Um, wow. Seriously impressed with this. I continue to just be like wildly impressed with this series, honestly. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to handle it if I'm disappointed by a volume after this. Um, I also can't believe I'll have read like 27 volumes of this manga in like three months. <laughs> it's fine um yeah so i'm gonna do that and then after i finish yona i've got to pick what i want to read next i'm really i'm just excited i'm really loving this deep dive into manga again this month so all right oh i guess i should no i don't want to give spoilers um volume 25 continues this like impending war situation and has a lot of strong character moments and I really, really love the princess we're interacting with right now, one of them. And I really, really like just how the intrigue of the political stuff is unfolding. Um, it's been really good, really, really good. So, all right, I gotta go get ready for the day. Okay, so, um. I just finished volume 27 of Yona and 26. I am anxiously awaiting volume 28 in February now. Um, how do y'all do this? This is hard. Like, I feel like it's different when I read books and like I have to wait a year and I know that, but like two months, two months is not that long, but also it feels like an eternity. 26 did a great job wrapping up the story arc and um i just loved everybody we got to see again 27 is opening up to yet another amazing story arc to be honest and i am super hyped for it um i'm back on my anime my manga game and i've gotta i think i'm gonna have to watch the yona anime um so that's gonna happen <laughs> i just y'all I love Hawk. I love Hawk so much. I also love every- I just love everybody. I love all the characters in this book. Um, I honestly don't think I have a least favorite really. I think everybody's really interesting. So it's a weird place to be. Um, yeah. Just another five star read. Alright, I am gonna go read another volume because I'm now- I know I'm at 13 volumes read. And I want to finish this up uh, before the 25th, where I read, like, the last of my volumes. And I know I can do it. I will update you in a little bit. So, I just read Food Wars <laughs> Volume 1, this one. Um, that was really good. I didn't know what I would think. 
I haven't really read a lot of shonen manga to be honest with you. So like when I read manga in high school, I feel like most of what I read was soju for sure. I definitely got soju beat for a while, like the magazine situation. Um, this is definitely my jam. Not surprising I read romance now, but I really liked Food Wars. I thought volume one was really fun. I'm really interested in this plot. Cannot wait to see where it goes. I'm pivoting to a different manga for a little bit though. Um, cause I want to read some of the things I just have like one volume of to knock out, but I'm proud of myself because I'm catching up because <laughs> I am behind, but it feels pretty good. Like it feels really good to, um, to be here, like to be at, uh, what am I at? At 14 volumes. It's the 19th. I'm going to maybe read one more volume tonight before I pass out, but I'm not sure. <sighs> we'll see. Uh, I also have like a ton of Boys Over Flowers checked out to read, so, you know, I could very easily read that from my next 11 volumes if I really want to, but yeah, Food Wars was fun. Really, really liked it. Didn't expect to like it as much as I did. I mean, I thought I would. Ashley loves it. She said she really liked it, so... You and Ashley over at Book of Home said she enjoyed it. I probably would. I feel like our tastes line up pretty good on this stuff. I also love food and cooking, so it makes sense that I would like food horse. But yeah, I cannot wait to continue reading it tomorrow. And I will update y'all later when I read some more mangas. Okay, so I finished another volume, y'all. <laughs> I finished Cutie and the Beast volume one. I really liked this. Um, this was really cute. This is about a high school student named Momoka who has a huge crush on Kuga, who is a pro wrestler. He's like the villain character, the heel, etc. And it is a taboo age gap. We're going to start with that fact. He is 29. She is 18. Um, so yeah, she's really tall and a lot of people think she's older than she is. And that's how, why he kisses her on the cheek and nothing untoward has happened so far. Um, obviously I'm curious to see how it unfolds. I think it's just really, really cute. I love the cover art. Like they're just so cute. I wish obviously that she was like maybe 20 instead of 19, 17 or 18, not 18, 17. Um, that would make it a little bit easier of a read, but I'm curious to see what they do with it. I know that I read age cat mangas like this as a kid slash teen so I can't really like hate on it too much I do have a weak spot for them I won't lie to you but yeah I'm really excited to see how this unfolds I think volume two comes out in late January so I will definitely be picking it up okay so I've got to update you on the last three mangas I read first of all I read my brother's husband volume two and i sobbed my eyes out last night in bed luckily my partner was not there <laughs> they would have been like what's the matter and i'm like this is it's too good it's too pure and i loved it uh this is the volume two and it continues following mike who is in japan visiting his widow he's a widow he's visiting visiting his um husband's family purest of hearts y'all pure absolute pure i cannot recommend that enough if you are interested in it i really think you should pick this one up then i read comey can't communicate volume one and i loved it okay so i was nervous i wouldn't like it i thought i was gonna be really weird that it was gonna be awkward it's not it really worked for me in a way i wasn't expecting and I thoroughly loved Comey Can't Communicate. And I think I have volume two from the library. If not, I'm going to get on the hold list for it immediately because holy crap, that was so fun. I really liked that her goal is to have like a hundred friends and she literally can't talk to people. It's just adorable. All right, and the last book I just read was Spy X Family, volume one. I read this cause Shay mentioned it in one of her recent videos. And I was like, oh, that sounds really interesting. So it's a spy, an assassin, and a telepath living together. They have to assemble a family and nobody knows the truth about each other, maybe besides the telepath, the little girl. And it's just, it's kind of funny, kind of slapsticky, 
but also just a good time overall and I'm waiting for volume two from the library again. <laughs> um, if you're curious, I'm using the Brooklyn Public Library card I have. I can link to the video up here and in the description box for you if you want where I talk about how I save money on books and I have an out-of-state card at Brooklyn and they actually have a good selection of manga and it's really great because there's it's a good way for me it's a good way for me to read some mangas and get a taste for what I really like like I know I'm gonna like soju right now but like what shonens am I interested in and in other genres of manga you know like that that's something I want to figure out because I didn't really give a lot of those much try when I was younger so I'm just yeah I'm excited all right I will talk to y'all in a little bit when I finish some more mangas we're getting so close to being done also just some kitty content because this vlog is like all clips of me so here's peas hanging out while I'm on a live sprint sleeping oh nope she's awake kind of I am using my giant Baby Yoda Squishmallow to prop myself up in bed to read. So I just, I have ears off my back right now. Um, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna table that. But that's, that's what's going on right now. <laughs> I realize this looks ridiculous. Oh well. We're rolling with it. I finished another volume of manga. I finished Food Wars Volume 2. And I really, really liked it. I thought it was a great continuation. We had our first food battle. I might try and watch the anime with my partner. We'll see. I'm very interested in it. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm definitely like kind of taking my time with it because it's a heavier manga in a way, I guess. If that makes sense, it's much more dense in words than some other mangas that I read. But I am really, really liking it. It was another five-star read, four and a half, somewhere in there. Uh, the illustrations of people after they try the food is probably my favorite part and it honestly cracks me the f up so that has been very fun and um yeah we're gonna keep reading i'm gonna go read another volume i will talk to you in a little bit when i finish that book hello <laughs> it's the 24th and I have the three volumes of manga left, but I have to tell you about the last three. I just marathoned. I literally fell asleep reading the third volume. Um, okay. So I read Sweat and Soap, and I'm in love with this manga. I'm in love with these characters. I'm almost mad at myself because I just bought them digitally, and now I'm like, well, maybe... I think I'm going to read the series through digitally and then start buying them physically. Because I have to own these. I am in love <laughs> with these books. This follows a very nerdy, oh, she's not really nerdy, she's just kind of a meek like office lady and she's self-conscious because she smells, she thinks. She smells bad and he is in like product research and development and he helps make the soap at the company she works at and he thinks she smells amazing. And it is so good. It is so cute and so sweet and they're such an adorable couple and I love them. I would die for them. And that child and Spy X family, those are the, I mean, I would die for some Miyano characters too. I'm not going to lie to you, but I'm just saying like, I loved this. I loved this so much. I cannot recommend it enough if you like these kinds of mangas. I loved it. Also, it has like just enough dirty to like keep me interested because like, you know, I read romance. <laughs> I like a little dirty in a lot of my books. Um, I don't need it in everything I read, but you know, like, it's a nice treat. <laughs> and it just, y'all, it was so good. It was so good. I am, mm, it just felt like cozy warm hugs. And I just, yeah, I cannot wait for the next volume um, to pick that up. And I already pre-ordered the one that comes out in January. So here I am. I'm sold on this series and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to read it. And I've already been yelling at other people I know to read it. So there's that. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. That's the update. I'm going to go read three more things and finish this. Ah, I'm so excited that I'm almost done. It's 
So I read volumes. Wait, what volumes did I read? <laughs> I just talked about it and I already forgot. Like I just looked, y'all. Okay. So I read volumes two and three of Comey Can't Communicate. I'm gonna say they're a solid like four, four and a half. I I think I want to see more development on the plot, like the story that's happening. And that's probably the only reason it's not a five star for me yet. But I really, really like it. It's very cute. I'm enjoying watching Comey like slowly find friends and them understand her. And I'm curious to see how it unfolds over the next few volumes. Because I don't know, like I can't decide if it's going to get old really fast. Or if it's going to be handled in a way that makes it not old and like works really well. <laughs> All right, and then for my 25th volume of manga, I read The Demon Prince Momochi House, which hits like all of my favorite manga things. This is part of why I love Yona. These were the mangas I read as a kid. Um, I just like fantasy romance mangas. Um, it's a very Fruits Basket-esque feeling. So Hamari Momochi inherits her ancestral estate when she turns 18 and she shows up and there's like these spirits there kind of situation slash maybe not really demon demons like guardians guardians of the house there that are protecting the house and they all like work together to some capacity and there's going to be like romance and i just can't wait i only read one volume so i don't have like a hot take on it it was a solid like four star i can tell like it's from 2013 uh, 2015 you know it feels like a little dated but I'm really really liking it. it's very cute and I think it finished recently so I'm actually like really really glad I haven't been reading it because um honestly I hate waiting that long for things and I could be totally wrong that I finished recently also by the way y'all like I may be totally off but I feel like Shay or somebody recently Yep, okay, so Shay said that it finished in her review for the last volume. So yeah, I'm very excited to see how it wraps up and to read them all. But I just, they're so cute. I love, I don't know, I love goofy fantasy romances. All right, but here we are. This is over. I did it. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Links to all of the mangas I read, at least like collectively, like the series will be down below if you want to check any of them out. Let me know what mangas you want to see me read or check out possibly um i'm always looking for new options especially anything i can get at my library on the viz app or digitally from my library because i'm cheap <laughs> i just don't want to invest in a full series if i before i like know if i like it anyways that's all for right now thank you so much for hanging out shay and everyone who hosted the 25 days of manga thank you so much for putting this on and encouraging me to dive into 25 volumes of manga in december it was quite the undertaking but i'm just i'm excited like i'm pumped i feel like i have a lot of stuff to read now um that i'm caught up on yona that i can like dive into and that's it's a really good feeling honestly like a really really good feeling so i will catch you all in my next video thank you so much all right bye really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know